Nero Claudius Drusus Germanicus born Decimus Claudius Drusus also called Drusus Claudius Nero Drusus Drusus I Nero Drusus or Drusus the Elder was a Roman politician and military commander he was a patrician Claudian on his legal father's side but his maternal grandmother was from a plebeian family he was the son of Livia Drusilla and the legal stepson of her second husband, the Emperor Augustus. He was also brother of the Emperor Tiberius, father to both the Emperor Claudius and General Germanicus, paternal grandfather of the Emperor Caligula, and maternal great-grandfather of the Emperor Nero. He launched the first major Roman campaigns across the Rhine and began the conquest of Germania, becoming the first Roman general to reach the Weser and Elbe rivers. In 12 BC, Drusus led a successful campaign into Germania, subjugating the Sicambrae. Later that year he led a naval expedition against Germanic tribes along the North Sea coast, conquering the Batavi and the Frisi, and defeating the Chaucer near the mouth of the Weser. In 11 BC, he conquered the Usipetes and the Marsi, extending Roman control to the Upper Weser. In 10 BC, he launched a campaign against the Chatti in the resurgent Sicambrae, subjugating both. The following year he conquered the Matarazzi, while defeating the Marcomanni in the Cherish, defeating the latter near the Elbe. However, Drusus died later that year, depriving Rome of one of its best generals. Childhood Drusus was the youngest son of Livia Drusilla from her marriage to Tiberius Claudius Nero, who was legally declared his father before the couple divorced. Drusus was born between mid-March and mid-April 38 BC, three months after Livia married Augustus on 17 January. A date of March 28 has been proposed as his most likely birthday. Rumors arose that Augustus was the child's real father, although this has never been authoritatively proven. Claudius, however, encouraged the rumor during his reign as emperor to create an impression of more direct lineage from Augustus. According to Suetonius, Drusus was originally given Decimus as his pronomen, the first of a Roman male's conventional three names in Roman naming practice at the time. Nero was a traditional cognomen of the Claudi, whereas Drusus was given to a branch of the gens Livia. Using a cognomen such as Nero as a first name was unusual, as was the prominence given to his maternal lineage in adopting Drusus as his cognomen. Drusus was raised in Claudius Nero's house with his brother, the future emperor Tiberius, until his legal father's death. The two brothers developed a famously close relationship that would last the rest of their lives. Tiberius named his eldest son after his brother, and Drusus did likewise, although eldest sons were usually named after their father or grandfather. Marriage Drusus married Antonia Minor, the daughter of Mark Antony and Augustus' sister, Octavia Minor, and gained a reputation of being completely faithful to her. Their children were Germanicus, Claudius, a daughter named Lavilla, and at least two others who did not survive infancy. After Drusus' death, Antonia never remarried, though she outlived him by nearly five decades. Three emperors were direct descendants of Drusus, his son Claudius, his grandson Caligula, and his great-grandson Nero. Career Augustus bestowed many honors on his stepsons. In 19 BC, Drusus was granted the ability to hold all public offices five years before the minimum age. When Tiberius left Italy during his term as praetor in 16 BC, Drusus legislated in his place. He became quaestor the following year, fighting against Rhetian bandits in the Alps. Drusus repelled them, gaining honors, but was unable to smash their forces, and required reinforcement from Tiberius. The brothers easily defeated the local Alpine tribes. In 13 BC, Drusus was sent to govern Gaul to quell riots caused by the actions of a previous administrator. While there, a tribe of Germans entered Gaul and proceeded to attack Roman settlements. 
Drusus mobilized his legions and beat the invaders back across the Rhine. He penetrated deep into German territory, traveling as far as the North Sea and placing a yearly tribute on the Frisi. As a reward, Drusus was made Praetor Urbanus for 11 BC. Drusus did not have it in him to stay in Rome. In the spring of his term, he set out for the German border once more. He pushed once more into the territory of the various German tribes, only stopping at the onset of winter. He was attacked while making his way back to Roman territory, but managed to rout the German force. His troops proclaimed him imperator and he was granted triumphal ornaments, as well as the office of proconsul for the following year. In 10 BC, the Chatti joined with the Sicambri and attacked Drusus' camp, but were easily defeated. Drusus then went on to meet Augustus and Tiberius in Lugdunum, and travelled with them to Rome. He was easily elected consul for 09 BC, but once more left the city before assuming office. He once again smashed the Chatti, and then began a campaign against the Marcomanni, but was turned back across the Rhine. He engaged multiple Germanic chieftains during his conquest of Germany and defeated them in dazzling displays of single combat. This was especially significant due to the value single combat held to not only the culture of these Germanic tribes, but to their very psyche itself. He was prosecuting the work of subjugation when he fell from his horse lingering on for a month after the accident by which point Tiberius had joined him. Interestingly, soon before his death he wrote a letter to Tiberius complaining about the style in which Augustus ruled. Suetonius reports that he had refused to return to Rome just before his death. Drusus' body was brought back to the city, and his ashes were deposited in the mausoleum of Augustus. He remained extremely popular with the legionaries, who erected a monument in Mogenshikum on his behalf. Remnants of this are still standing. His family was granted the hereditary honorific title Germanicus which was given to his eldest son before passing to his youngest. Augustus later wrote a biography of him which does not survive. By Augustus' a decree, festivals were held in Mogan to come at Drusus a death day and probably also on his birthday. Family Tree In popular culture he is a minor character in Robert Graves' historical novel I, Claudius, as well as the BBC's adaptation of the same title.